good morning. It's the day 10, the last day of the tournament. The finals of the World Championship is gonna be playing, but he's gonna be played today. Mario Kuhl won the match yesterday against Kengo Nagasuka, the online qualifier in, from Japan, or online live qualifier. Uh, he's done a great job as, again, he qualified for basically $6. He won the whole package and he's here. So, quite amazing story. He almost copied the story from being the moneymaker from WSOP 2003. We are just walking uphill to Fairmont Hotel for our last day. There's only last chance really to be played today for us. Uh, well, I could play some jackpots, but not really in the mood to play anymore. It's been uh, it's been very long, 10 days. Enjoyed it a lot. The surroundings, the Monte Carlo is always a ex unique experience. And yeah, so I'll use this more like a recap show you the atmosphere of the finals and why you should come next year because this is the one guys this is the tournament you really want to come to because of the title because of the pressure because of the emotions this is where all your all your practices all your matches all your lost one person matches where you suffered when you win this tournament you're gonna be the champion and that means something. also you ask me a lot of questions in the comments during the days Thank you very much for them. I really appreciate it. I really appreciate the support. And so I'd like to respond to some of them. Uh, basically, in yesterday comment, there was, in, uh, there was a comment, a question, how do I prepare for tournaments like this, right? This has been a long series of 10 days. Uh, there's nothing like that in Bagavan. The second one is basically UBC, where you just play a week. I had to cut it because I was actually saying then um, that I'm like, I like to prepare for tournaments like psychologically, like physically as well, right? And once I was going uphill, I noticed, well, I'm not really in a good physical, <laughs> physical mood when I'm just doing <laughs> So, well, let's stop and let's do it again. Um, so from the physical, I mean, you always want to be in a physical good mood, good shape. And regarding the mind, well, I don't like to play that often anymore because, um, well, I've been playing over the years, I've been playing tens of hours every day as well at some time, so this is not what I'm doing anymore. Uh, what I like to do is quality over quantity, so I like to, I mean, backgammon is a complex game, so I like to practice the mind in all other ways as well, which is uh, thinking about projects, you know, um, playing poker, playing some other games as well. Because backgammon is all about connecting it together and just creating implications and it's a logical game, right, as well, as, of course, entertaining and so on. So, um, when you want to be sharp, you just want to be in a great state of mind. So, right now, this is my answer, but two or three years ago, uh, my answer was completely different. Two or three years ago, I would answer that uh, I just wanted to play as much as possible, and before the tournament, two or three days before the tournament, it would be the quantity, the answer, because I just needed experience, I needed to get in, uh, in the mood, and th that time, that was what I needed. Right now, it's just completely different. I actually want to have like a free day, have nice food, nice drink, nice walk, and just be in the best state of mind what so I can. What I would suggest to you when you're when you want to be preparing for the tournament, just get in the best shape of mind what you want, what you can. And that can mean a lot of things. Depends what you like, what you do. Just do things what you like, play some games and yeah, well just have fun and enjoy the tournament and that's actually the best thing what I can tell you, you know. No likes, I don't know, studying just before the tournament because you really want to be good at this tournament. No 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 no. Just enjoy relax because back I mean, I mean there's a lot of pressure i mean you cannot be you don't want to be under pressure you want to be enjoying every moment of this and in my opinion this is the well, way let's play the last chance right now and then we're gonna talk about some other recap what we do here how it goes so again you all gonna come next year and there's gonna be 500 players well not 500 because there will be no enough plays but let's do it Okay, so this was quick. Um, we lost the last chance in like three or four minutes. In the first game, we made exactly one move. We wrote three, two, and then we've never played again. So it's been that week. It's confirmed. Uh, we lost everything, and now it's time to enjoy and just to see others. So recap of how backgammon tournaments work or how Monte Carlo works. Basically, you get a schedule of tournaments, you 
mostly want to play everything or we want to play everything you can pick tournaments which you want to play and you've got basically scheduled times when you have to play right everything between everything afterwards before you can just do whatever you want so again depending on the mood you can just f go for a walk and there are always like two things here in monte carlo you can pick like more expensive side and of course uh budget side like when you're on a budget or something when you're on a budget there are nice places like uh, metropole or you can just go to the shops and buy some things you know there are some bakeries on the road which you can just go to uh if you're about to if you want to enjoy if you're not on a budget uh you can go to some fancy restaurants some fancy places which are really nice you can get a nice pasta, pizza. So right now we're just going for the walk because we're officially the first ones out of the tournament. Well, we lost the ch for last chance, as you could have seen, as the first person ever, ever lost. It took like four minutes. So yeah, just walking, getting something, something fast, something quick, and heading back to just watch others, maybe commentate something, and well, we'll see. Right now we are doing commentary with Bill. This is like vlogs life. Yeah, vlogs life. Thank you very much for the support, everything. And if you want to come, well, I shouldn't invite them for this live thing right now because it's just gonna be posted tomorrow. So well, anyways, thank you. We are getting ready for the super jackpot final between Oliver Squire and Malcolm Hudson. See you there. So this is the setup for the finals. This is how the new board looks like. Wow. So we just finished the commentary for the Super Jackpot match. Very exciting. It was really nice to just commentate after a long time. And um, yeah, now just we chose the Indian place for dinner, for the last dinner of this tournament, of this tour. So just let's enjoy it Sometimes again. even your friends, even your friends just make fun of you, you know, even when, when you make vlogs and it's just, it's just part of it, right? Right? Frank Frigo is officially the world champion for the second time. First time he got the world championship title in 1994. Uh, the doubles champions are Genji Shimurara with his bike. Amazing performance. And the last chance I think is still ongoing. There is uh, Pierre Simoes from Brazil. Dincher Gunes from Turkey. We've been betting on him a lot at the beginning of the, beginning of the tournament. Oh wow, Johan Beinl from Sweden and Sergio Malis, I think they are still playing, so wow, long tournament. In the intermediate, Max Peterson has won the trophy over Warner Solomon, who was the undefeated, undefeated uh, bracket winner. Uh, the first super jackpot and the owner of 36,800 was Oliver Squire. The second super jackpot was won by Najib Kavka from Germany. And in the ladies' final, it was Maggie Diamantidis. 
she beat Lauren Sinski from France in the finals of the ladies. Congratulations. This is our next world champion, Frank Frigo. Well, he won in 1994, right? Yes. Congratulations again, Frank. You got some words, what you want to say? Uh, I'm just so excited, obviously, to win, but, but almost more excited for all these amazing people that have been so supportive here and all over the world and all the people that are doing so much to promote the game and for a venue like this. And, and I, yeah, I'm just like, I, I feel speechless. Like, I, I didn't expect yeah. To be feel overwhelmed the way I was at the end. Thank That's you great. very much. Right. It was a great show to have you. Congratulations again Thank and you. thanks for the show. Thanks. Thank nice performance. Thank you. Presenting approximately 14 national flags, competing for a total prize pool of approximately 650,000 euros. champion ladies and gentlemen is from USA so I don't know what else to say but thank you amazing job and I'm just I'm happy and I'm gonna party <laughs> ceremony very nice as usual congratulations to all the winners i'm saying goodbye to you to the vlog to everything and i'll well I'll see you in one month two months in dubai it's gonna be amazing anything you want to say you can say down to the comments and just see you later thank you very much for your support